Go get it. Oh! <laughs> 
Taro rests with his siblings now. I imagine the corruption in the forest has cleared as well. I know it was time for Benny and Saya to move on with their brother, but the forest won't be the same without them. It's natural to build a connection with the spirits we help. We give up a part of ourselves when they move on. But the bond still remains. The path of a spirit guide is a lonely one. There is still work to be done if you wish to reach the mountain shrine. A skilled woodsmith once lived in our village and built structures beyond anyone's imagination. Search the fields beyond the storehouse for her troubled spirit. The woodsmith dedicated her life to the village. But she lost much more than her work when our home began to fade away. Her spirit lingers to the west, in the fields through the storehouse. Thank you. 
You're going to need more power to get that door moving. Energy has not flowed here for a long time. The land has begun to heal. Is this your doing? My name is Kena. I helped Benny and Saya free Taro's spirit. I'm on my way to help the woodsmith. Do you know her? Yes, I know Adira. She was a great woodsmith. Together we found a way to capture the energy of the mountain shrine. She believed we could harness the resources of this land to sustain the village forever. But that dream faded long ago. We've only just met, but I can tell you have a strong connection to the spirit realm. You carry the same energy that flows through these roots. It must be what drew you to this place. With focus, you can gather that energy. Your bomb should prove useful in powering up all the old technology around here. We need to repair the power mechanisms to open the passage. Take a look up there and see if you can get things working. This place once drew great power from the mountain shrine. Now, only remnants of that power remain. Look for the objects that shimmer. They'll react to your bomb. <laughs> 